All right, what's up, guys? Putting this video together for Tim Static and the Tester Mike guys. Um, first one I did, I recorded my iPhone, so the but now I'm using an actual video camera because this is a little bit longer video and it's a little bit harder to do. But the audio in this sucks, so I apologize. Um, let's see here. Just gonna go over a couple basic things. It's not gonna keep it too long, but basically I like to hold the stick like this. Some people do it like this. Some people do it like that. I've actually seen people do stuff like this. I just, I don't know, I don't get it like that. To me, it's definitely better like this. You have a lot more control. As far as the buttons go, the stick's the hard, the easy part. The buttons are the little bit harder part. Um, I know people that if they hit this button, they'll go like this. If they want to hit this button, they'll move their hand over and go like this, and so forth. To me, when you're doing stuff like that, right in the middle of the combo, it's a lot easier to mess up. If you're just doing like this, you know, I just think it's a lot harder. Whereas if you keep your hand right here at all times, you can feel every button at all time. Um, so if you're hitting X, Y, you just know where everything's at. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see, a couple quick combos. Let me just show you. So as you see, I like to hit X-ray. I move my fingers like this. Some people will come, will come over like this, or you know, pick their hand up. Just it's a slight movement. Um, let's do somebody else here, just to show you how easy the the movements in the game are. I'm gonna pick Cyrax and show you the his, his teleport, which is backwards fireball and X. Watch how easy it is. I know a couple of people have friends of mine have the stick, and you know they're they're used to doing stuff like this, where when they're doing backwards fireball X, they will they'll do these big exaggerated movements. You don't need to do that in this game. It's just a, it's just barely just down and just barely back, and you can hit X, and he'll do it. Um, let's see here. Let me show you a couple combos as far as like how to input them. Um, let's do like Noob Sabat. He's got that back one two combo. So his combo is back one two, and then if you do back one two one, he does the punch over the head, and then if you add in a four, he'll keep him across the screen. So back one two four, and you see what he does. Then after the four, you can do uh, you can do another move. So back one two four, fireball, and he does the, the running man shadow. You can add an X-ray. So you see how fast you got to input the movements though. If you do it slower, it won't work. Watch. It doesn't work. You need to do it fast. Uh, what else here? What else can I go over? Show you a couple Kun Wow things. Like he's got the plum flower move, which is the Y B X A. I'll show you how I like to do that. A lot of people find it hard to hit all those buttons at one time. It's really simple. So, his actual move is Y, B, X, A at the same time. So why I just go like this. Never misses. And if you want, you can try to add in the Y button, which is really hard. I just usually mash it because the timing of it is so ridiculous. There it is. I got it right there. Um... Uh, let's see. Uh, what else to go over? Let me show you a Jack's combo with a dash. I do 
normally when I when I play this, this stick works perfect to sit in your lap. But for filming purposes, it's, it's hard to get a shot to, to set this up right. So actually, I have it sitting on like a little chair in front of me. Um, but this stick, I prefer to play it in my lap. Whereas when I play Street Fighter, I don't like to, those sticks sitting in my lap. But this stick, it actually works perfect. Um, so with Jax, what I like to do here is you can do the ground pound move. But then what you can do, you can be far away and you can just dash right up. You get a punch in. And then go right into your, one of your moves. Uh, another, another thing I like to do is with, like with Jax and Scorpion Kano is you got the air throw. Um, you just you just what do you, you jump over and then immediately hit the two punch buttons. As you see, it never misses. Uh, the other thing is is throws. Um, big thing in this game is dashing up and throwing people. Uh, by default, the RB button is to throw but it's really difficult in a match to come up here and hit this button. So you gotta use these two buttons. So it's just very simple to practice it. Come up and throw. Dash, dash, throw. And once you get used to it, you almost never miss it. If you don't time it right, sometimes a punch will come out like that. But usually it, it doesn't miss. Um, let's see here. Uh, somebody, I think I missed it already, but I do like to rest my hand on it, on the, on the base right here. I don't I don't play with my hand up, so there's no space on it either. I do keep my hand on it on the on the bottom. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of something else to go over. It's it's hard to make a long video out of this because it's it's not too much to go over. Uh let me, let me see if I can pull off a jade combo here. Oh, and by the way, if you have this stick, I highly recommend modding it. This this is not the stock stick. This is an IL Euro stick. These are IL buttons with cherry switches. I'll show you what it looks like. See that white thing right there? It's it's a lot better than the hap the the hap hap one. And then I got the cherry switches over here. Very very easy to switch out. It takes about maybe 20 minutes. Uh, let's see if I can pull up a jade combo here. So as you can see, if you see the very first part, it's back, back one, and then roundhouse Y, or backwards fireball Y, but it, watch how fast you input it. And the game recognizes it right away. So before she's even finished with the Y, I'm already done with the uh, the first move. I'm already done with the backwards fireball Y. Then you have to dash up, back two, dash up, four, and then you go into that move. It missed there, but you get the point. Um, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else to go over. Um, definitely just practice, you know, play around with it a lot, and definitely get used to it. Uh, like I said, the most important thing I think is, is keeping your hand like this and not moving a lot. Uh, I was out in the, I flew up for the PDP tournament. I actually lost my last match. Otherwise, I would have made the top 16. But whatever, that's a different story. And I was actually watching Justin Wong play. And he does a lot of stuff where he will move his hands. So when he hits X, I was no noticing he would do stuff like and stuff like that. And obviously he's one of the best players, so it works for him. But me, I just doesn't work for me at all. So um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. Or if I need to do a follow up or anything else, I will do that. So all right, hope it hope it helps somebody out. Take care.